On the first day of school, Eliana Kaiser got a text message from her wife that their kids were headed down to catch the school bus. Kaiser was just about to hop on a flight home from Denver. When she arrived at LaGuardia, her kids still hadn't made it to school almost three and a half hours later. It's not always as bad as that, but it is chronically bad. My kids have been getting to school late pretty consistently. Kaiser and her family are hardly alone. This year, the Department of Education found that on average, there were more than 600 school bus delays each day in September. That's more than 150 delays per day than there were last September and 200 more per day than there were in June. I still don't know what happened, and I would love to have had GPS on our bus that day to have an answer to that question. Soon she may get her that wish. That. Councilman Ben Kalos introduced a bill that would require all school buses to have GPS and an app that would make the information available to parents. This is not an expensive uh, problem to solve. This is something that buses have solved, garbage trucks have solved, and uh, Uber, Lyft, and every other ride-hailing program in the country has solved. Right now, two-thirds of all school buses are equipped with GPS, but schools and parents don't have access to that data. And so the big difference that this bill would make is ensuring that parents can follow that GPS real-time data and see where the bus is and where their children are. Recently, the Department of Education has revamped the school bus system after some high-profile problems. Kevin Moran was appointed the new head of the Office of Pupil Transportation, which oversees busing. Moving forward, bus drivers will be fingerprinted like all other school employees, and the DOE will strengthen disciplinary actions for bus companies and drivers. Our mandate is very clear. Children should be picked up on time. They should be delivered to school on time. They should be picked up from school and delivered home expediently. And parents should know at every point of the way where their children are. And parents hope they can yet then use that data to help hold the school system and the school bus companies accountable. One more note on this. The reason we see such an increase in the beginning of the school year in those delays is because we have new bus drivers and new bus routes each year. Part of this bill would require the Office of Pupil Transportation to communicate those new routes at least 30 days before school starts and hopefully eliminate some of those delays. Reporting live tonight outside City Hall, Joe Masiri, PIX11 News. Back to you guys sense. in the studio.